Hello world, I'm Ben Dan, and nice to meet you, got some questions, I'm wondering, can you answer like... What's up YouTube, turn in, welcome to episode number one of my Real Madrid career mode series on FIFA 14. So this is episode number one of a new career mode, and hopefully you guys do enjoy the series, it should be a really interesting series, and it's kind of similar to my Barcelona career mode, but we're going to buy new players, try out new players, and that kind of thing, so... The reason why I'm not continuing my Liverpool career mode is because the simple factor is just to cut a long story short or a long story short, I think that's the word. Anyway, the reason why is because I accidentally deleted the file and the next couple of files or the next couple of videos for the series. I was really starting to get into that series as well, which is quite unfortunate. So I went back to my voting video where I voted for a new career mode and the second, uh, second place was actually my Real Madrid career mode. And this should be a great series and I've got to kind of deal with you guys. So if I don't do more than 20 episodes in this series, because I'm really becoming really inconsistent, I don't want to come become like that and I'm kind of want to kind of get your my reputation back for doing longer career modes so that's why I'm going to try and do more than 20 episodes in this series unless obviously I, I can do like amazingly long episodes and that kind of thing yeah so if I don't do more than 20 episodes I'll probably do like a forfeit or a challenge or that kind of thing so that's the deal I'll make with you guys and you can leave your challenges and that kind of thing in the comments section below the other thing is uh, the question of the day for today's episode is going to be simply who should I buy for this series leave your comment and I'll look through all the comments and you can can suggest any players goalkeepers all the way to striker because I know Real Madrid isn't a perfect team but it's near perfect and there's not many changes I want to make to the team so we're going to start off with the team you can see we're doing normal team management here and we're just going to look through some of the players and look through some of their potentials as well and there's the three or four players I want to talk about is first obviously Gareth Bale and he's going to be a fantastic player to use in this series and he's got really good potential as well and if you didn't know this he does actually have the best total stats on the game because all of his stats are actually either yellow or green and that's because he was actually a left back so that's why his tackling stats are still quite good you can see his stats there Jesus Christ they're just amazing and second of all we have to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo he's on the thumbnail as well he's going to be amazing to use in this series uh, I just can't wait to use his free kicks his shots and that kind of thing you can see that Gareth Bale's stats are just insane and he's going to be really fun to use and obviously we've got to talk about Sergio Ramos as well and Varane my two centre backs are going to be amazingly important in this series that was a long word wasn't it amazingly important never thought I'd say that but anyway Sergio Ramos and Varane they are really good together Varane has better potential because he is younger and Sergio Ramos does have I think he does get to around about 88 but I do believe Varane does get to about an 80 or 89 or maybe 90 in the end so there you can see Ronaldo five star skill moves and four star weak foot and uh, he's going to be amazing in this series guys he's going to score so many goals and if you know what I mean he does actually suit FIFA a bit, a bit more because Messi is kind of weak in this game and that's why I didn't really enjoy using him too much so you can see Isco why the hell has he got three star skill moves I just don't understand that to this present day I don't know why he was downgraded anyway and yeah you can in terms of skill moves not in terms of rating he's gone up but he's going to be insane to use I can't wait to use him as well 84 rated but Karen Benzema I'm thinking of maybe replacing him for either Cavani or Balotelli and I was kind of going towards Balotelli it'll be so fun to use a bit more fun in this series and as the Liverpool career mode was kind of serious this will be a lot of fun and I can do longer episodes and more fun episodes and that kind of thing so on the bench we have got Case Miro, uh, Di Maria we've got Alonso and Ilamendi I think his name is I don't know how to pronounce his name but over the series I will be able to pronounce his name but this should be a great series guys and I'm really looking forward to this series so as I said we were having a look at Mario Balotelli, Super Mario and he should be so fun to use if I do end up getting him and you can see his stats are just insane you can see he's got good strength which I need in a striker as long as alongside good uh, pace as well which is great and obviously the four star skill moves for those chops and the burba spin as well so you can see he can play striker he's got high attacking and low defensive what you need in a striker and he's obviously just so fun to use he's such a character as well and when he's in good form in, in real life in my opinion he is unstoppable just look at his stats as well in this game as well so I decided to just offer a transfer sum a transfer sum of around about 30 million which I thought was about right but they did actually want 56 million which is insane so you can see just to sum it up uh, in the Champions Cup the domestic Cup and the League Cup or the League objective is to win basically everything which I think is about right because at Real Madrid they do actually have really high expectations and when Pellegrini did actually take charge of Real Madrid a couple of years ago they wanted him to win basically everything and if he didn't win the league they would actually sack him and that's what actually happened to him in, in, in real life in the end so you can see we did actually have a look at Balotelli again and they wanted 43 million for him I think that was about reasonable but in the end I was kind of thinking is he worth 43 million and I was kind of having a look at Benzema as well but in the end I went for an offer of 36 million and that was really going to be my last big offer for him but you're going to see what happens with him so 
You can see here we actually get an offer here from St. Etienne for Morata, and he's going to be a player that's going to be really good in the future. He could be the next Benzema, maybe the, him, the next Higuain. And I can see myself using him a lot this season as well in midweek games, and he'll be really good to use in this game alongside Jesse Rodriguez as well. I think that's his name. And you can see here we actually have a look at Balotelli again, and I was just trying to get him because I do need a new striker quite urgently because I know Ronaldo and Bale can play as a striker, but I'd love to use Balotelli as my new striker. And Karen Benzema, in my opinion, not really doing too much, and I don't really, not really a massive fan of him either so as I said if you, I'm going to do maybe over 20 episodes and I'd, I'll do a forfeit if I don't end up doing 20 episodes because this is getting ridiculous guys and you can see we're just getting more transfer offers here and the new Ultimate Team series is out tomorrow as I said and that should be a great series I've handled the, my last Ultimate Team series was around about the Navas to Man City which is insane guys so I really need to start getting back into Ultimate Team I'm going to record a lot of gameplay for that around these next couple of days so you can see we're actually going off here from Inter Milan for Karen Benzman again as I said Karen Benzema is a really important player, but still, he's not really my cup of tea, if that's the word for it. And yeah, so you can see, we actually get an offer from Manchester United for Sergio Ramos. 27 years old and 86 rated as well. And you can see, we just reject all offers. Because, in my opinion, he's my favourite defender in the world. So that's another question. Who's your favourite defender in the world? Leave that in the comment section below. So, you can see, we actually, again, you can see, we kind of changed up a little bit. So, before we were offered around about 40 million for Balotelli. So, in the end, we actually offered around about 13 million, I think it was. Uh, plus, uh, who was it? Benzema wasn't it? And that adds, actually adds up to around about 50 million in the end, if you think about it. And Benzema is probably worth around about 25 million, uh, plus, uh, yes, about 40 to 50 million in the end. So you can see we actually, Balotelli ex actually accepts the transfer offer. That is great news, and that means we've got a new striker, and I think that's going to be great to use. And as I said, he's going to be so fun to use. He's already in the team, number 10, Mario Balotelli. You can see, look at his stats in more detail. Remember to pause the video if you do want to see some of his stats. 22 years old, and he has a potential of around about 90. So... You can see we're actually offering for Verratti. He's a player I used in my AC Milan career mode last season. And he was a fantastic player. A little, little midfielder who can just pass the balls around, ping the balls around all over midfield. And he gets to a potential of around about 90. And I'm kind of trying to go for world-class players like Gundogan alongside or Gundogan, I think it is. Gundogan and Verratti. So a bit of youth and a bit of world-class players. And I know some of you guys are thinking, especially in my Barcelona career mode, he's kind of unrealistic because a lot of you guys are thinking he might stay at Borussia Dortmund and later go on to Bayern Munich. But in my opinion, I think in, in the future he will go to either Real Madrid or Barcelona and I can see him in Barcelona's midfield alongside Iniesta imagine that that would just be insane but you can see we're just offering for Gundogan but we are coming towards the end of the episode and if you actually have enjoyed the first episode a like will be really much appreciated and you subscribe for more FIFA 14 videos and you can also follow me on Twitter and I have actually got a new Twitter so there will be a link in the description to that and if we could reach 30 likes I will upload another episode as soon as possible and the new Ultimate Team series is out tomorrow so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this first episode and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.